looking in a window shaped as a tall tall form mm -hmm. uh, it's not straight it's rounded mm -hmm. and I try to look inside and inside is an angel beautiful describe this angel for me but this angel is dancing. <laughs> Tell me more. It's it's like it, it's transparent, mm -hmm. but it's of gold. Um, it has long hair. Loose loosened. It's like it's, it's a wind in the angel's hair and it keeps moving in waves. It has uh, the eyes looking at me. It says, come here, come here, come mm. here. Do you feel that it's male or female energy? Female. <coughs> So you're going to speak with this angel telepathically. It says, who are you? Mm -hmm. And I say, I'm Annie. Mm -hmm. Do you, would you like to come inside? I'm not quite sure if I want to go inside. What, what do you feel when you see this place? It looks like old, uh, full of history. Mm -hmm. um, looks quite pleasant and calm. Outside. Yes. What about on the inside? It looks a bit empty. Mm -hmm. uh, like someone has moved and nothing is left. So let's ask this angel, why does this place feel this way? What happened in this place? It just says God's house. It's God's house. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I ask, why doesn't a God's house need anything in it? It doesn't need the space. It doesn't mm. need the things. <laughs> Why have you been brought here to God's house today? Because you want to be free. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. I have to come inside before the angel want to say anything more. Mm -hmm. Are you ready to go inside? Yes. All right. What happens? It's high under the ceiling and it's... It's like it's a breeze inside the house. The angel hugs me. Greets me welcome tells me to sit down, sit down on the floor because there's no place, other place to sit. Mm -hmm. It keeps looking at me. What do you look like there? Like a child with black hair. Mm -hmm. I have a dress that's blue. My skin is quite pale white and I bend my head over and look down. I have red shoes with straps and I keep bending my head over. 
the angel just stands there on, well, while it moves in waves looking at me and says, why don't you stand up? And I just put my head a little bit up and look with one eye, not quite sure. I don't feel like it. Mm -hmm. Why is that? It's not safe yet. Mm -hmm. What do you need to feel safe? To be held around. Mm -hmm. And that's what the angel does. It feels warm and comforting. And I, in a way, hug back. I just want to sleep in her arms. Do you know this angel? No. Does she know you? It feels like it. Mm -hmm. Why don't you ask the angel how she knows you? I've always been there. Mm -hmm. I've been in all of your lives. I belong to you. What is this angel's name? Raphael. Raphael? Hmm? Mm -hmm. What does she call you? Zoe. Zoe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sorry. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. <sighs> I feel like dancing too. Raphael asks me to dance, and I say yes, and we dance. And we go around and around and around, and I start to feel a bit dizzy. I feel like a swirl, in a way. Mm -hmm. And now the swirl disappeared, and everything disappeared. Everything just seems foggy and white. Mm -hmm. Let's find out what this white is. Can you move through the white? No. But I can crawl under it. Hmm. <laughs> <sighs> what happens when you crawl under it? Oh my. What do you see then? It's a lot of light. Mm -hmm. Just light now. Use your senses. How does this light feel to you? Uh, it's like the light is going to educate me. Very good. So it brings me up. And it's like I'm flying and it just brings me up, 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 up somewhere. It carries me. It's like a bed. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Tell me more, what happens? <sighs> it's quite high now. Mm -hmm. It's like I get wrapped in the light to, to stay safe. In this place where you are, are you alone? Or do you feel any others around you? 
Use your senses. I'm alone. Mm -hmm. But there's a lot of darkness around me that are wrapped in light. Mm -hmm. It's not necessarily light either. It's maybe it's just this white, mm -hmm. something white. What do you imagine that darkness is? Seems like a possibility. Mm -hmm. And if I just open the light like a blanket. I can meet the darkness, I can integrate it. Tell me what you do. I'm trying to get closer to it, to figure out how to meet it. If I should touch it or Breathe it, or just be. Mm -hmm. Just be. Just be. But now I can see a star shining through the darkness. Very nice. It has. light streaming down towards me. Mm -hmm. <sighs> it's nice. Mm -hmm. Can you connect with that light from the star? Yes. Mm -hmm. It's coming all the way down, touching my body. I want to go up there. How do you do that? I climb. Mm -hmm. I climb on this light that's streaming down. Mm -hmm. And it goes fast. So now I'm there, there. Mm -hmm. What's there? Describe it for me. It's, it's a lot of light and it seems like it's the shape of someone, something. I'm trying to see it. My first thought was Mother Mary. Mm -hmm. Use your mind to connect and see if it is. I think it is. Mm -hmm. She has the child. She has blue and red clothes. Mm -hmm. But her face is dark. In what way? In a cluttered way. Mm-hmm. So I can't see her face. Why is she not allowing you to see the face? She tells me to turn around and wait. I'd like for you to look into her eyes and see if it truly is Mother Mary. But I can see eyes as stars, only the eyes. Mm -hmm. Connect with those eyes. Do they feel good? Yes. Mm -hmm. Why is she having you turn around? Because I was not ready. Mm. I was supposed to wait to, until I was ready. But now her face is there. I 
And it's a mild, beautiful face, mm -hmm. full of passion, reaching out her hand towards me. I take her hand and I, I shake it. What happens now? I ask, why am I here? Because you are supposed to, because um, I need you. What does she need you for? I need you to be the stars. I need you to be a star. Mm -hmm. I need you to shine. I need you to shine the way. Shine the way. What does that mean, shine the way? For eternity. It's for the eternity. Mm -hmm. It's to show the way of our eternity. Everything that exists. There is no stop, there is no end, there is only eternity. Mm -hmm. This is something that you know? Yes. Mm -hmm. How are you going to do that? Just be. Mm -hmm. Is that how you show others about eternity? Or you just need to be? Dance. Mm, like the angel? Yes. Mm -hmm. Dance to be. Be the dance. And flow. Mm -hmm. Flow with the dance. Exactly like me. Mm -hmm. What else does she say? There is magic. There is magic in this flow. It brings you joy. It brings love. happiness and wisdom. Wisdom is important. Mm -hmm. Why is that? Wisdom can stop you, but wisdom can also bring you to somewhere new. Mm -hmm. At the same time as you keep the history with you, it gives you competence. Why? I ask why? Why competence? Because there's so little we know already. We need to know more. More of this eternity and flow, flow, just feel your body flow, just dance and you will flow, don't think, it's not wisdom from the mind, it's wisdom from the heart. That gives you this flow and makes you dance. <laughs> what kind of dance are you dancing? Happy dance. Mm -hmm. 
trotting my feet, waving my hands, swimming my bottom, mm-hmm. and just jump of joy. Mm-hmm. Is anyone dancing with you? Look. No, but I, the dance is like a swirl. Hmm. What does that swirl do? It makes you go around and around and around and bring you to different places. Mm-hmm. You could go anywhere you like. No, I can stop. You can go anywhere you like with this swirl. You don't have to stop. You can just dance and swirl around. So let's see where this world takes you. Mm. Allow yourself to swirl into the next place. Whew. Well, I'm on a cloud. Mm-hmm. Tell me about this cloud. There is this light coming, pink, green, violet streaming up Mm -hmm. on the left side. Mm -hmm. And it's music. It's like a jukebox. Mm. You can put on any music you like. What kind of music have you put on today? Listen. It's a bit chassis. It's a bit joyful, chassis music. Mm-hmm. <sighs> it's a free spot. It's a free place. What else happens in this place? There is a tree coming up, mm-hmm. growing. Describe this tree as it grows. It has a quite long, what you call? The trunk of the tree? The trunk of the tree, and then it grows with a round of the crown, mm-hmm. the crown. The canopy of it? It's a bit round. Mm-hmm. The branches? The branches. Mm-hmm. So you can't, you can't climb on it. Mm-hmm. You have to fly until the top. All right. So let's find out what's there. Allow yourself to fly. Is this, it's a child sitting in the tree. It's a white, clo- white clothes on. Mm-hmm. Smiling and giggling. Mm-hmm. Is it a boy or a girl child? I think it is a girl. Mm-hmm. I can hear the. Can, I can. I can hear the giggle of a girl. Mm-hmm. Connect with this girl. Who is she? Me. Mm. She seems very happy. And it makes me sad in a way. Why is that? Because I want to be happy. Mm-hmm. But I do enjoy the laugh and the smile and her teeth showing off in her smile. Mm-hmm. Now it comes this misty light streaming out of her mouth. It's like she's shouting it out. Mm-hmm. And it swirls. Follow the swirl. What happens? It goes in different directions. One catches me. One goes the other way, one goes up, 
Woods. The one that catches me. Just holds around my waist, just gently. Mm -hmm. And puts me down. It lifted me for a while. Why has it put you down? It was just to tell me that I was safe. Mm. I don't need to be afraid. You can laugh if you want. You can jump up and down, swirl around, be playful. Don't be so serious, the child says. Don't be so serious. Why has this one become so serious? There's a shadow. Hmm. Not thick shadow, but a gently dark shadow over the body. Mm -hmm. What is that shadow? Sadness. I can see through it, but it's still sadness. Mm -hmm. Since you could see so well, let's find out what's in this sadness. What created it? But it's like small particles mm -hmm. floating together. That's why I can see through it, because it's air between. Mm -hmm. These small particles, what are they made out of? Plastic. Plastic. Mm -hmm. uh, silliness. Mm -hmm. Plastic. Um, they're not real. They're just uh, fake. Mm -hmm. They're not really there, but they're there. Does she choose to have this shadow around her? Yes. Mm. How does it benefit her to have this shadow of plastic silliness around her? It's kind of protection, but it's not a good protection. Mm. I think she's not she thinks she's safe with it, but she's not safe with it. What does it do to her? Gets her stuck. Hmm. She can't get out of it. Did she create it herself? No. Well, how did it create around her? Um. Did someone put it there? like destiny. Destiny. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, it had to be there for some reason mm -hmm. to protect her in this life. But did she need it to have it for the entire life? I'm afraid it's going to happen again mm -hmm. if she doesn't have it. Um, mm -hmm. Perhaps she can put something else around her to keep her safe instead of this plastic silliness. It would be much better with this white mm -hmm. light. Could we try it for a bit and see? Just like when you go to buy new clothes and you could try them out to see how it feels. It's a bit unusual. I'm not used to it. Hmm. But it's quite relaxing. Mm -hmm. So feel it. See how that feels to have that white light around instead of that darkness. So much more relaxing. Mm -hmm. And so much brighter. Bright light. 
Can things be seen through that easier now? I can see out, but nobody can see in. Mm -hmm. It's a good protection. Very good. Because <laughs> no one can see in, but I can see out. It's very good. So what shall we do with all of this plastic that she had before? Put it down to the inner earth. All right. And then it dilutes itself. Mm -hmm. So let's do that now. Let's take something, perhaps even like a funnel or a tornado or something, and let's go deep inside the earth and take all of that plastic silliness <clears throat> down and around. Mm. You tell me what's happening. It's going down, but I don't want to. Mm. Why is that? Because it was safe. Mm. It felt safe. Put that white light around you now. Oh, that's better. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's gone. Very good. So now that we have this white light around, we can use this protection to go anywhere. Where would anywhere. you? Anywhere. Yes. So let's begin to use this light to travel. Wow, it's quick. Mm hmm. It shoots out to the universe and then it goes back again. It goes like a loop. Mm -hmm. And I can see another planet or something. Let's find out what that is. Describe it for me. It's shining. It's, it's a bit like an orange, but it's more shiny. Mm -hmm. And it's not so orange, more yellow. What causes this planet to be yellow? It's... I'm trying to ask. This planet has consciousness, just ask. Yes, it has consciousness mm -hmm. and it's... The yellow is for protection. Ah. It's a place to go to get protection. <laughs> it seems you're there for an important reason, isn't it? Why are you there on this planet now? To be with my own. Mm -hmm. Let's find out who your own are. Allow yourself now. The light beings. Mm -hmm. The light beings. The light beings, dancers, beings, swirling beings, laughing beings, or the beings laugh. It's a really happy place. It's a good place to come. Mm -hmm. And while you're on this place, take a look at yourself. Do you look like these other beings now? Or do you look different? It's like I have this coat on me with a hood, mm -hmm. but it's all light. Uh, but my hands are black and I don't like it. Why are my hands black? Connect with your hands and ask them. What do they need? Just take it away. Mm -hmm. And now it's away. Very good. I didn't need it there. Mm -hmm. It just followed me. Ah. <sighs> so in this hooded coat, <sighs> what do you do on this planet? I protect, I 
teach, educate. Mm -hmm. I decide, I decide when and where and how things are happening, when people are leaving and coming and what they're going to do there, mm -hmm. how long they're going to stay. Mm -hmm. You seem to have preparation. A it's preparation. It's preparation. So that is your role on this planet? Yes, to prepare. Mm -hmm. To prepare. Do you have a name that you go by there? Zagar. 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 Mm -hmm. Zak. 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 Yes. Zak. Zak. Do you have male or female energy there? Male. Male. Tell me more about your life there. I think it's Zagar, but they call me Zak. It's a short name. It's a short name. Yes. Mm -hmm. So what happens on this planet? See yourself now doing what you do. I have tools. What kind of tools do you have? Rings. Rings, and when they touch each other, they connect. It's like they just disappear into each other. Mm -hmm. They are of gold. I can use them to bring people there. Ah. So when I connect, someone can come. So who do you usually ask to come to this place? The sad ones. The sad ones. Of course. Mm. So when the sad ones come to your planet, what do you do? I I put them I what do you call it what do you call it It's like when you put cream on your body I have to prepare them with some kind of light cream mm. protection protection That's the first thing I do Yes What do you do next I make them sit down and meditate. Mm -hmm. What is the purpose of the meditation? Preparation mm -hmm. and to calm down. And to find yourself for the next step. Uh -huh. Which is what? To find joy, of course. Mm -hmm. This is the happy place. But it's a hard process from sadness to joy. It's like a tunnel. You have to struggle. But I guide you. I hold you. I protect you. In all matters. And in the end, You will become you mm -hmm. in all ways. And then you can go back and do what you are meant to do. Mm -hmm. So why is this one here now? Oh, it's a heavy case. Mm, tell me about that. Why is it so heavy? Hard lives. Mm -hmm. Many hard lives. Uh, uh, God, God, she had a job as a God, God, God. And to be a God is a, not an easy job because you get people against you. Mm -hmm. That 
try to put this darkness onto you. Mm -hmm. And sometimes they succeed. Mm -hmm. They can even make you feel like torture. I'm a bit lost. I'm mm -hmm. lost. A bit lost. Um, so she is lost. She makes me feel that I am lost. Mm -hmm. Tell me more about that. What's happened? Her energy is not good. Mm -hmm. It's floating too much. What's causing it to float? <sighs> no focus, no... nothing to... Hold on to. Mm -hmm. oh, I can't find. She just makes me feel lost more and more lost. She puts the darkness onto me. Mm -hmm. But I know I'm light. Mm -hmm. It's a hard one to get through. It's like, it's a, it's a war, it's like she wants to win and I have to try her not to win. Mm -hmm. Or try not to make her win. Why is that? Why do you not We want? met before and she won. Oh, okay. So she's not gonna win again. I see. I see. So... How is it that you are related to her? I'm her father. Mm. Can you tell me more about that? I was put here to protect her. Mm -hmm. But it was a hard job to protect her. Why is that? She's strong. Mm -hmm. Powerful, so much more powerful than me. Mm -hmm. I couldn't bear it. So, I couldn't breathe. So what did you do? Made her small. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. Stepped on her, made her small. It's so easy. It's strange how easy it is to make someone small. Mm -hmm. And she does the same thing over and over again that people step on her. Why is that? Because it's so easy. Mm -hmm. It's easy to do it with her. Why is that? Because she lets them in. She easily lets people in, in her heart, mm -hmm. because she is good-hearted, warm-hearted, she is light. Mm -hmm. So since you've been able to step on her and do all these things to her, what is it that keeps these people from doing it over? Has she let down some of her guard? Yes, mm. she has no guard. Mm. What Nothing at it? all. What happened to that guard? It was taken away from her. Who took it away? Some strong power. Mm -hmm. Some stronger will. Some strong will. That's one stronger than her. Was that on a physical level or non-physical? Non-physical. Hmm. Did she allow it? She tried to fight against, but she couldn't. Mm -hmm. When did this happen? Seems like a long time ago. I see the universe. I see clouds. Okay. I see light. Something with eternity to do, something. It's like it's been going on forever. Mm. 
Did she choose this to happen, or was this by mistake? By mistake. Mm -hmm. Because if she had the job as a as a god, something must have happened. It's like she lost her job. Ah. Was it on purpose or by accident? By accident. But since we know that time is eternal, yes. and everything happens in the moment of now, we can always go back to that moment and make some changes. Yes. Let's find out what happened before she lost and that job. I'm going to count from three down to one, and we will be at the moment that indicates before she lost her job. Three, two, and one. Be there now. Where are you? Uh, I'm floating. Uh -huh. There's a dragon. Who is this dragon? It's flickering its teeth. Mm -hmm. It has like hair waving in the wind mm -hmm. on the top of its head, and it's it's the eternity. Mm -hmm. It's the dragon of eternity. Internity? Yes. Mm -hmm. It's it's a god over the gods. Mm. Its eyes are red, looking at me, trying to tell me something with his eyes. Mm -hmm. I told you so. I told you not. I told you not to let in. I told you not to let in. God. I told you not to let in. Who have you let in? Summer, summer, Sumeri, Sumerians, Sumeria, Sumerians, Sumerian God. Yes. Mm -hmm. He only wanted his own choices. His. He only wanted. me to do what he told me to do, but I shouldn't. I should not have done that, so I lost my job. Mm. Well, you also have the power. And I also have the power, enormously power. Mm -hmm. No one likes that I have this power. Mm -hmm. So do you need that Sumerian God? to be part of you any longer. No. No. So I'd like for you now to address the Sumerian God and remove him from your presence. He's gone. Mm -hmm. He's trying to wave, but he's going. Mm -hmm. We'll begin now to do your swirl. Swirling your power now. <sighs> Amplify that power. Show the dragon who you really are. <sighs> He's lying down. Mm -hmm. He's like a dog. Mm -hmm. When it knows it is your master, you are his master, in a way. Mm -hmm. 
yes, I know, I know, I know, he says, I know, I shouldn't have done that. I will obey you. I should have listened to you. Now we agree. Very good. So now you can see, since there is no time, time is eternal. Mm. I'd like for you to see all of the things that have been redone with this new power. See how it has affected all of the lifetimes that the soul has lived. It's like a string of light just going through all of it. Mm -hmm. And it gives like bing, like stars coming out of this string mm -hmm. on its way. Yes. And it's pulling you together like a ring. And then suddenly you have those two rings again. Mm -hmm. And I put them together. And it's whole. Very good. That's what they're for. They're for wholeness as well. But now I don't need the rings anymore. I can put them aside. Mm -hmm. Feel the power. Uh, I just feel placed perfectly inside myself. Mm -hmm. I fit into my body. Very good. Or my shape. Is that what was missing? Yes. Mm -hmm. So now that we understand that this power has returned, that it fits perfectly, now we understand why this one came to incarnate in this lifetime of Annie. What was the purpose for her to be here at this time? down here mm. that fits together for everyone. Everyone needs the rings to fit together. Is that possible? If you have the right power. Mm -hmm. But you have to find the power first. And then you have to yeah, then you have to get the shadows away, the darkness away, so you can see the power, and then you can use the rings and get whole. Mm -hmm. So the whole purpose of her to be here is to find those rings? I know where they are. Mm -hmm. Let's find out where they are. I have seen them before in a whale. A whale is a big whale protecting them. Mm -hmm. But they're not just one ring, they are different, several rings together, hanging together. Mm -hmm. And every time something magical happens, then there's one less ring. It's like magical rings. Mm -hmm. And who is this whale that is protecting these rings? Her guide. Her guide. Is that why she always thinks of water? <sighs> Maybe a little bit, mm -hmm. some of it, but it's more. But the whale has this essence, the way of being that's good for her. But it's good for her to be in water, just like the whale. I see. It's more like that. Okay. Is it possible today to meet with her guide, the whale? She's met him many times. Mm. For a long time he was following her when she was by the sea. 
she had contact with him. Mm-hmm. What she, happened? She forgot him. She did. Yes. But if she goes down to the sea and call him, he will come back. Does he have a name? Oof, 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 wait a minute, oof, uh, fari, fari, faro, 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 yes, that is her guide, yes, can we call on faro, yeah, all right, so I'd like for you now to call on him, so he can hear you, and have a conversation with him. <sighs> Ooh, he makes me dizzy. What is Faro doing? He just lays still. Mm-hmm. He doesn't have water he around doesn't. him. Mm-hmm. Does he need it? <laughs> Maybe he doesn't need it. Mm-hmm. And now it's like he's standing up, <sighs> changing shape. What is he changing into? Uh, it's like a human being. Mm-hmm. More like Egyptian shapes mm-hmm. being. Mm-hmm. Tell me more. Oh, I love these eyes. Yes, beautiful eyes. His ears are very sharpened. Mm-hmm. He can hear everything. He tells me he's been following me for a long time. Mm-hmm. But I haven't listened. Ah. Well, you're listening now. Yeah. So let's find out what Fraro has to say. Who you are. Who you are. You should be. Who you are, who you should be with your power. You know your power. Come on, you know your power. Why did you leave your power? I have been telling you for a long time. Stand in your power. You can't just think your power, you have to stand in your power. And I will always be there to help you do that. You're never alone. You're never alone. I like to hold around you. Sometimes I hold around you just to give you this feeling of the power. That's when you do things you thought you couldn't do. <laughs> couldn't do. It makes me laugh when you do it. But you have to stand in your own power. And we've been told by her father that she has allowed people to step on her. Yeah, not good. Mm -hmm. But she let it happen in a way too. It's like her role somehow to let others feel their power feel they grow into their power. Is she ready to grow into her power once again? 
Mm, she's a bit uncertain. Mm-hmm. Why is that? She likes it mm. <laughs> to make other people grow in their own power instead of her own power. Ah, but the light is pushing from inside and want to go out. Is she afraid of her power? It's inconvenient mm. somehow. Why is that? Because it's easy to play small, mm-hmm. you know. Yes. It's, uh, you just go through life without really doing anything. You just let other people decide what you should do with your life. Mm, it sounds like a bit lazy to me. It's not lazy, but it's um, not taking stand in a way. Mm-hmm. She doesn't like to be lazy, but she doesn't like to show herself off and shine too much. Mm -hmm. Ah, But she has to shine. She can't keep on doing this. It's not good for her. It's not good for her health. Not for her heart. Not for her... Mm -hmm. Not good for anything. Not good for anything. So is that why she has kept herself in low-paying positions and around people who don't appreciate her? Giving up all of Yeah, she keeps up her roles somehow then. Does she need to keep up these roles? She has a task she has to go through, mm-hmm. so she doesn't have to keep up this role. And that is just to be happy. Mm-hmm. Her role is just to be happy, just like on that planet. Yes. Mm-hmm. Now, she, when she came here, she didn't feel like she was home. She always felt that she needed to go home to her tribe. Where is this? Well, it's already started then. She wanted to play small. Mm. She came small. She did. Her tribe is powerful people. Powerful. Are they from this planet? I think it's a neighbor planet, a neighbor, neighbor. A neighbor. Maybe it's, wait a minute, it's, it's that planet, it's just that it has a moon. Mm. I can see a green planet and I think it's the moon of this more yellowish planet. All right. So she wanted to go back home there. That's why she... Yes. She oh. wanted to feel her heart work again. She wanted to feel the happiness. She wanted to dance. She wanted to swirl and have the power. But she had to go this small. Mm-hmm. It was her role. Okay. I'm sorry I had to do it. Is she finished with this role now? Yes. Okay, good. Now she says she feels like she had a mission to help awaken with the oh, earth. Oh yes, she has a big mission. What is that? I don't know, it's like everything is so big with her, I don't even know where to start. Start somewhere so we can get an idea. I just see a ship, a big boat. Mm-hmm. This boat is steering the whole world in the right direction, and she's the captain. Mm. But she stands in front of this boat, trying to lead them the right direction to eternity. Mm-hmm. But eternity keeps going on and on, so... Mm-hmm. <sighs> 
Even this ship doesn't have water around it. Mm. What does it have around it? Air, and it's it's like the ground under it, and it's nature, nature around okay. it. And she tells people, and they can go off the boat, and they just go out in this beautiful nature. This nature, this area, it's somewhere else. Hmm. It's not the earth. It's not. She brings people from earth in the ship to somewhere else. It's like a garden. Mm -hmm. Nature, paradise, place. Is that where that house was? Yes. Mm -hmm. With the angel? Yes. Mm -hmm. When they have finished their own mission, they can come here on earth. When they finish their own mission on earth, they can come here in this white house, like a little castle, mm -hmm. with the angel, and then they can dance and hear the music and be happy. I guide them here. She tells me she can read people very easily. <laughs> Is that her main talent, her skills, her gifts? Yes, she needs that, and she needs it when she's going to choose people to go on the ship and mm -hmm. guide them to this garden. She needs this tool to know if they are ready. Now this ship that she's leading them to, is this something that, she, that happens during this lifetime? Or at night? Every lifetime. Okay. Every lifetime, and it's going to keep going on. Mm. in other lifetimes. So her job is eternal. Yes. All right. So when she reads these people... She can never go off guard. Okay. She needs to always be guarded. Oh God. Is there anything that she can use in this physical body for her protection? Once more, please. What did you say? Can she use something to protect herself? Violet? Violet. Violet. Mm -hmm. Like a uh, veil, violet veil mm -hmm. around her. Okay. And a tiny little light to keep in her hands. It's shining all the time. What is that light for? To sparkle. To sparkle. Mm -hmm. And she can even share the sparkle. Very good. Very good. Okay. So would you put that beautiful veil over her right now? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Allow her to feel mm -hmm. what it feels like to be enveloped in this with that little sparkle. I think she feels it's powerful mm -hmm. to have that protection. And that sparkle fills her heart. Wonderful. So she puts it in her heart. Good. Now she's telling me that she always has a low energy. If she were to keep that sparkle in her heart, would that give her more energy? It's not the sparkle that gives her energy. What is it? It's not to... If she doesn't do... If she doesn't do what she came here to do, that makes her tired. Oh, okay. So whenever she's feeling low energy, what should she be doing instead? Breathe. Mm -hmm. Be in a quiet place. See the sparkle. <sighs> Breathe some more. <sighs> A 
and talk with this light sparkle, mm -hmm. communicate with it to give her energy and give her some codes she can use to be in balance. Mm -hmm. She needs different codes for different times and different tasks. Mm -hmm. Code activations, these activations. She needs activations. She needs big activations to keep her energy up. So one has to activate her. All right. Are you ready to activate her? Now? Yes. All right. What does she need to do now to receive this activation? Open her heart. All right. So allow your heart to open. I'm going to place my hand over your heart right now, and I want you to begin feeling <sighs> the energy as we expand that heart. Feel that chakra spinning, opening <sighs> that heart. Allow that heart to be open wider and wider, wider <sighs> and wider. And as we activate that, allow the activation to begin when you're ready. It's activated. Very good. What can she expect with that light activation, with that DNA activation? and be power and just know what to do anywhere, mm -hmm. anytime. Mm -hmm. No one can stop her when she's activated. Wonderful. It's her own power, nobody else's power. Mm -hmm. So now that she has all of this power, she can do anything. She can do anything. Good. Anything for herself and anything for everybody who needs it. Mm -hmm. She has a big heart. So this big heart will allow her to do what she loves to do? Yes. Mm -hmm. Should she be doing what she's doing? No. No. What should she be doing? She feels very unappreciated. I see elephants. Elephants? What does that mean? They are several elephants walking together. They're walking their own paths. Mm -hmm. What is the significance of them? Their brain, they are smart. Mm. What does she have to do with them? Activate her brain with their thoughts, their brain, their thoughts, their brain thoughts. She can get activated of their knowledge and wisdom, and she can use that in everyday life. Mm -hmm. That will tell her what she should do instead of what she's doing now. Is there one of these elephants that yes. is leading them? Yes, it's a big elephant in the front. All right. Does he need for her to prepare for this activation? She can just go towards him and put her forehead against his forehead. All right. Let's do that now. Ah. <sighs> What is happening? It makes me cry. I want to play, play music, <laughs> dance. 
allow all of those thoughts to be transmitted? What does she need to do now? Sing. Sing. Mm -hmm. Sing out her voice loud and clear like I'm doing now. To tell people to sing snow, it's hard to get sing loud. Mm -hmm. And when you say sing, what should they be singing about? Their choices. Mm -hmm. Choices, power. Mm -hmm. I get lost. Mm -hmm. This one here wants to be able to do more with her love, her life, wants to be able to contribute to help children, organize them. Yes. She, she wants to be using her artistic abilities even more. Painting. She sh can still work with the children, but in a different way. She must do it in a spiritual way. All right. She has to make them happy and laugh and feel their connection to the universe and the eternity. Mm -hmm. She can do it through healing, maybe hypnosis like you do, Alba, mm -hmm. and she can make them feel their soul, their soul. So purpose. Mm -hmm. That light, that sparkle light helps her to work with them that way. She has to work with them spiritually. She has to work with them differently. She can't be in a system mm -hmm. where it's so tight she can't even breathe. Is that what's causing some of the issues? Yes, a lot of issues because of there's no air to breathe. There's no sound to make. You can't be loud in a system like that. So does she need to create her own system? Yes. Mm -hmm. Could you give a picture of what that system could be like? Something with the air. Mm -hmm. The air is, ears. Listen, listen, ears. Channeling. Channeling. Channeling by listening, channeling through the ears, listening, mm -hmm. telling the children what to do, what to do, help them, channeling through the ears, help them with their issues and their qualities and their, what do you call it, their, their talents. Mm -hmm. So she could do that in her job now. She could, but the job is not open for it. Right. She tried, she asked, but they say no. So what should she do in order to, to do this? Go on her own. Okay. Well, I would imagine that when she hears this, she would be very afraid. Yes, mm -hmm. very afraid. She can have connections to them, but she also needs to develop something on her own. Because mm -hmm. she has so much power and she should use it in a place where there is room for power. And she can hear, she can hear. She has to be somewhere where she can breathe and hear. Is that in nature? Yes. Mm -hmm. She's very sensitive. Will, will she be able to travel more 
when she's doing this. Oh, she loves to travel, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, that will give her much more possibilities to travel. That will make her so happy and that will even make her more powerful. Mm -hmm. And she will reach more people and more children. It doesn't only have to be children, but children is in her heart. She recognized it from herself when she was a child. Mm -hmm. There is a connection there. Is there a reason why she had to go through that childhood? Yes. Mm -hmm. Tell her why. So she could recognize the quality and what the children has to go through today because mm -hmm. they're awakening up in a new world. They have things with them, but they also need guidance. Mm -hmm. It's hard for them to fit into the system. It's hard for her and it's hard for them. Mm -hmm. So she has to support them and help them out. That's why this, this guy came to the school to give her a kick in the ass. Who was that man? Was he a guide? Not really. He was from... from planet, from... I'm not quite sure if he's from the same planet or a different planet. But he wasn't from planet Earth? No, no, not from planet Earth. He, he was a visitor? Yes. Mm -hmm. He travels. He likes to travel. Mm -hmm. He travels through time and space mm -hmm. to reach, to reach her, to tell her, and give her a clue. He gave her a clue. She wanted to see him again, but he hasn't turned up yet. Will he turn up again? Yes. Okay. What is this about her being a timekeeper? Where does that come from? That's part of her job. That's the gods. That's her job to guard the time. That's the timekeeper. Mm -hmm. The time, the time of awakening for the children. The children. It's a big time. That's why she guards eternity, because it's going to keep on for eternity. Mm -hmm. It's a long process. Cycluses, you know, cycluses. It comes and goes mm -hmm. this time, as it is today. Yes. And she has to guard it. Hmm. Now, she has a question about past lives. Must to know if anybody from this life has been in past lives with her. Has she been on Earth before? Yes. Yes. Many times. Yes, that's her father. Mm -hmm. That's her father? Yes. Mm -hmm. Can you explain that for me, please? She was very connected to him. Like she's most connected to him in this life. She mm -hmm. has a connection to him. But it's not a good connection. It's a strong connection, strong cord. Mm -hmm. And it's hard to cut the cord because they need each other in a way. Mm -hmm. And that's why it turns up in every lifetime. But do we need to have that type of cord? No. No. Are we ready to slice that cord today? Yes. All right. So what we're going to do is I want you to see where it is in this body that this individual is connected to. Uh, the throat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Take a look and see what's happening in that throat. Uh, it's opening up. All right. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's in there? I air too much air. Mm. Uh, mm. 
Has she put something in her throat? Um, it's like smoke in the air or something. All right, let's find out what that is. <laughs> Where is it coming from? Oh, I can't breathe. Oh. What is that? Where is it coming from? Follow it. Oh, uh, mm, uh, mm, uh, it's, 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 it's smoke, it's smoke, uh -huh. and it's, it's coming out. from... Follow it, follow it. Oh, We're going to count to. it. I'm going to count from five to one. We'll get to the origin of that. When I get to number one, I'll tap your forehead. Mm. We'll find out where that smoke is coming from. Take a deep breath in five. Oh. Going through time and space to find that smoke. Where did it start from? Oh, God, it's in that house. Four. Keep going. Three. Two. Oh. One. See it now. Where did smoke come from? What's there? Oh, it's in that house. What's in that house? Yeah. What is it? It's emptiness. It's in that house. That's why it's empty. It's... 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 Burned down. And someone built it up again. All right. But it's not the same. Find out what was the burnt up part. How are you connected with that burnt up part? Oh, I feel broken when I uh -huh. think of it. Keep going. Keep going back. I want you to begin to visualize it now. I'm going to put my hand over your forehead. I want you to visualize it. Visualize it. Who was that? Father, father, father. Uh -huh. Mm hmm. It's a symbol of father. The smoke. Everything is like smoke in here, but it's father, father. Mm hmm. It's broken, father, 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 father. It's the father of all. Mm -hmm. why That's is it? why it's called the God's house. Why is it broken? Because I didn't watch it. Mm. I was supposed to watch it. I was God. Mm -hmm. Well, just by noticing something, you are forgiven. Did you know that? Yes. All right. I'm going to take that away. I'm going to put my hand over your heart. And let's take that away, knowing that the moment that you notice you made a mistake, it is immediately forgiven. Just pull that out. Pull that out. That's right. And let it go. Look at it now. I feel free. Uh -huh. Do we need to hold on to that smoke any longer? No. No, give it to me. Give me all that smoke, all that fire. We don't need that any longer. Pull it out, pull it out, pull it out, 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 out. Let it go. Oh, I can see you again. Uh -huh. Very good. Very good. Mm-hmm. So why would, was that allowed to keep this in her throat all this time? Because she wouldn't listen. Mm-hmm. And now that she has forgiven herself for not watching, <sighs> understanding that we all make mistakes and that's the only way we learn. But she was so powerful, mm -hmm. she couldn't forgive. Mm. She, has now. she has now. So how will that change her life now? She can be light again. Yes. Does she need to have anything stuck in her throat any longer? It would take some time to feel that nothing is stuck, but it will eventually won't feel stuck. Mm -hmm. Is that what she was feeling? Yeah. Why she was getting things stuck in her throat? Yeah. Mm -hmm. She has to be sort of prepared and ready to feel free. All right. She's not used to feel free. Mm -hmm. Just let her breathe through so she can begin that feeling of feeling free. Oh, that's a good feeling. Oh, my. Very good. Let's do a scan of that body and find out what's going on with her neck. 
she's bowing. She's bowing. Who is she bowing to? Because she feels less. That's why she felt so disappointed of mm. herself. She had to bow all the time. Does she need to bow any longer? No. No, let's get her up. Get her up from her knees, stop bowing. And let's get that head strong. Allow yourself to grow now to the true height of what you really are. Allow yourself now to That's see that. That's because of the tree. That's the tree. Mm -hmm. Straight tree. Make it even better. Make it stronger. Make it more beautiful now. Oh. No more bowing. Oh, my hands goes up. Mm -hmm. I reach, 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 high, high, high up to the tree top. I love that tree. It's beautiful. Beautiful. And as this tree grows, what's going on with her neck and her back? Is that the same thing? The back is supposed to support her. She doesn't feel supported. Mm -hmm. She needs support. Who's going to support her now? The angel. Uh -huh. The angel Raphael. Raphael. Who else? The... The elephant. The elephant. Very good. So let's straighten up her back now. Mm. Feel that backbone strengthened. Loosen up anything that's been keeping her down. Very good. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, let's take a look at her knees. What's going on with her knees? She doesn't want to walk. Hmm. Her path straight on. She wants to go side walks, side roads all the time. Mm -hmm. I try to keep her on track, but she wants to go sidewalks all the time. And in the end, I make her knees mm -hmm. feel like they ache. Mm -hmm. Well, where she's visiting now in Amsterdam, there's two types of sidewalks. There's one for those who want to walk, and there's another part of the sidewalk that's used for riding the bicycles. And those bicycles go very, very quickly. So let's allow her to be on the sidewalk. That's out of the way of the danger, but allows her to go very quickly. Oh my God, she goes quick now. Mm -hmm. Release those knees now. We don't need to walk. She flies. Very good. It's okay. like she have it. Like a jet, what do you ever you call it? Mm -hmm. In every knee and makes it whoosh, very good. Fly. Very good. She's been watching the bikes. <laughs> they go very quickly, don't they? Yes. Uh -huh. They have their own place. Very good. What's been keeping her down? Her body swelling? The, the heaviness, the, the weight, mm -hmm. the darkness. The feeling of not believing yourself. Mm -hmm. We got rid of all that plastic silliness, didn't we? Do we need that weight any longer? There's something else. Mm -hmm. Let's find out what that is. Do a scan and see what that is. She can't swirl. Wow. What's holding her swirling? What's there? Cut off her knees, cut off her knees, her knees cut off. Her knees are cut off? Yes. Let's find out where that came from. I'm going to count from five back to one. We'll find out <sighs> when her knees were cut off. Taking a deep breath in now, five, going through time and space to find the origin of her knees being cut off. Four, going through time and space, finding the knees. Three, two, 
And one. See that now. See that now. What's happened? Someone was carrying me on a tray. Or what do you call it? it? Carries me on something. Mm -hmm. And my knees are cut off. And what's happened with those knees? Who cut off those knees? They were cut up with an axe. Uh huh. Who cut those off? A strong man. Uh huh. Let's find out who the strong man was. Who is the strong man? He looks a bit like a Viking. Looks as a helmet. Uh huh. And he just cut off my knees just like that. All right. Let's find out what caused him to cut those knees off. He was so angry with me. He was. Uh huh. He was angry for what purpose? What did you do? I took his. I took his land. Ah, he took his land. And he cut me my knees off for that. Mm -hmm. I said, "You can live without your feet." Mm -hmm. Take a look at his eyes. Uh -huh. The eyes are the window to the soul. Is this man in the lifetime now of Annie? Oh my God. My husband. Mm -hmm. But he's changed. Mm -hmm. He looks calmer. Yes. Do you need to hold on to that remembrance, that memory? No. No. Can you forgive this man? Yes. All right. I'm going to put my hand over your heart, and I want you to forgive him. <sighs> Now understanding that you didn't need to remember this lifetime with the knees. Oh. It doesn't serve you any longer. Forgive this king. Now that you understand that you took his land. I'm sorry I took his land. Mm -hmm. Give it all to me. Give me all that. <sighs> what else do you need to forgive? Do you need to forgive yourself for holding on to all of this? I need his wife to forgive me mm -hmm. as well, mm -hmm. and myself. All right, go ahead and address them and give me all of that inside that you're holding. Oh. She forgives me now. Good, take all of that and send it to the universe for healing. What else is in there that we need to take? I need to forgive myself, mm -hmm. but it's harder. It's harder. So bring in more power. Whoa. Bring in more power. Forgive yourself. Okay, forgive it. Take all of that. We don't need that. <sighs> what would you like to play? Put in his place instead. Think big. Don't play small anymore. <laughs> What can you put in there that's huge? It's like kryptonon, kryptonon, like crystal, like a... Put it all in there. Space. All right, go ahead and use your hands and put that in there. Put it in there. Krypton stone from space. Put all that krypton stone. It's everything in it. Everything in it. Now go down, send it all the way down to your knees. All the way down, 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 down. And see how that stone, that power of that stone melts away. All of that that's been held up from those knees being cut off. It makes them work again. Yes. So they can fly and run and even walk if she wants to. They're full of power again. Very good. And now that she's full of power, take a look at her energy level. It can be more, it could be more, but it's better. Mm -hmm. So what would make it even better? She needs to get more of her power through. 
She's holding back. All right. Why is she holding back? Let's take a look. Let's she hold. doesn't want to show herself. She doesn't like for people to see her herself. She wants to hide. Mm -hmm. Why has she not shown herself the way she is? Because it's too much. It's too much. It's... How can she cope with it? She thinks, how can I cope with it? I, mm -hmm. I can't. It's too much. All right, so we're going to do something for her to see. I want you to place two mirrors before her. They're entire full-length mirrors. They're huge. Uh. And I'd like for her to see the one on the left. This is the one of her that does not shine properly. This is the one that's been playing small. This is the one that cowers when others use their might against hers. This is the one that's fearful. Take a look at this reflection in the mirror. See how it ages. Yeah. See how the body looks as she continues to play small. I look so sad. Yes. Now I'd like for you to look on the other mirror, the one on the right, and look at the power that shines from her. See how big she looks in that mirror. It shines out of the mirror, their light. Mm -hmm. Look at the face, how happy. Look at the brightness from her reflection. Look at her skin, how it glows with so much power, with so much happiness. She has the stability of eternity. Mm -hmm. She stands in her power there. Yes. Which mirror would she like to keep? Of course, the right one. All right, so let's take something to shatter the left side. What would you like to use to shatter the left one? Paint black over it. Very good, so let's it's paint. Uh -huh. And it goes away, all the way down. Mm -hmm. Nothing left. Very good. So now, I'd like for you to step inside that other mirror. Completely step inside. And I'd like for you to feel the power. And turn around and look out through those eyes of that reflection in that mirror. Feel the power now. Wow. It feels so natural. Mm -hmm. It feels peace. And natural. Does she need any longer to be playing small? Never again. Never mm -hmm. again. She's finished with it. Very good. Does she need to even think about why she's been playing small any longer? No. No. She's finished with it. She's finished Never. with it. So now when she deals with those people in her past, Mm -hmm. With the power that she has. She has a sword. Mm -hmm. A sword of light. That she can protect her with. Mm -hmm. And when she points it in the direction of those people, they will stay quiet. Mm -hmm. Let's do that now. Let's begin pointing the sword now. No one can tell her off anymore, mm -hmm. as long as she got this sword. Mm -hmm. She points it on everyone mm -hmm. that needs it, only the ones that needs it. Very good. Even the misbehaving children? Yes, mm -hmm. even those. Misbehaving children needs it. Mm -hmm. It's actually love. Mm -hmm. Good. And now that she sees how big she is, and the goddess that she truly is, mm. should she spend all of this time alone, or should she be more sociable? More social. Mm -hmm. More, much more social. She has the ability to be social. Mm -hmm. She's a happy person. She's a lovable person. She is... Every, 
everything that fits into being social, but mm -hmm. she needs breaks alone sometimes. Yes. So can I ask for her guide, the whale, to guide her with this in the future? Yes. Mm -hmm. He's so steady, he will definitely guide her. Very good. Very good. Now I have a question about a vision that she had. It was a rather disturbing vision of ice growing all around the world and she was iced in. She thought that would protect her but it was doing to the opposite. Mm -hmm. Her power managed to stop it just in the last second and lucky was that mm -hmm. because it could have put her down for good mm -hmm. and then there would be no power mm. left in her. All right, good. So it was a way to make her wake mm. up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good, very good. And I have one question about the souls of the children who were never born in her life. What happened? I know she wanted children. She wanted to have several children. Mm -hmm. It made her very sad, but she was again playing small mm -hmm. and not standing up to and against the fathers of the children and let them use the power over her. And then she took them away and then she was staying small. But the children are with her all the time. Mm -hmm. They help her out. And they also help her out to push her power out so she can work in this world. Mm -hmm. And in a way, they are inside her son on earth now because mm -hmm. his soul and his power is so huge. Mm -hmm. They can fit into the same soul. Wonderful. Any advice that you would like to give her about her son? Just love him. Love him a lot. Mm -hmm. And he will always be there for you. Just love him. Love him, love him. Wonderful. There's been a lot of information that you've given her here today. Yes. Any advice that you would like to give her now, moving forward, in any areas of her life? Listen to me, please listen to me. Please open your ears and your heart and listen to me. Mm -hmm. Everything you need is here, just inside you. If you need something to remind you, shout. Use your voice, shout it out that you need help, and I will be there. And when she listens to this recording, she's going to wonder, who is this that is speaking through her? Angel, hmm. Raphael. All right, very good. Are you... The her, dancer. The dancer. Very good. Yeah. I have a question for you, Angel. Why did you bring her to this session here today? She needed it for herself, but she also needed to connect with you. Mm -hmm. There is a connection between you and her. Mm -hmm. Tell me about that. It's a connection from past lives. Mm -hmm. You were there observing her life somehow. Mm -hmm. You were an angel, of course. Mm. And you were observing, guiding her through her life, supporting her. So she will remember you. Very 
good. And she did use that power that she has in order to get here. Definitely. Mm -hmm. And you helped as well. Because mm -hmm. just like you did before. Because mm -hmm. you have enormous power mm -hmm. to make people come to you when they need you. Because yeah. not only because they need you, but because they need to hear what they self have inside themselves. To get out into the world. Mm -hmm. And to the drum. Very good. So is there anything else that you would like to tell Annie today, or do you think we're complete? Pretty complete. Very good. Completely alert. Feeling wonderful all over. Oh. Welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> Where have you been? <laughs> all over the place. How do you feel? Floating. Mm hmm. Relaxed. Mm -hmm. How long do you think this was? It feels like 20 to 40 minutes or something. Yeah, mm -hmm. a little bit longer than that. Yeah. An hour and 53 minutes right now. An hour and 53 minutes? Mm -hmm. I could hear my ego say, but this is too short, this is too short. <laughs> 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 so that's okay. So you lose time of, I mean, you lose track of time and space. Mm -hmm. That's strange. I mean, I heard it in the videos, but it's strange when you feel it yourself. The time, time disappears. Yep. There is no such thing as time. Amazing, huh? Yeah. Do you remember yourself looking in that mirror? Yes. How did that look? It was very uh, dominating, the one that was the power one, yeah. Do you feel her now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, feel I, I feel I lost the other one and I'm just, I'm, I'm tingling and I feel very powerful or very sort of, I mean not powerful, I feel on place. Yeah. Yeah. It's good. Yeah. Do you want to share it? Yes, I can definitely share. That was good. Don't mind. Yeah. That was amazing. You yeah. were all over the place. That's that's what I felt. I was all over the place, mm -hmm. and that's why I, I struggle sometimes to get connection to where I was. Well, because, because it's the floating. You're a floating dancer. I mean, that's really that's what you do. You you yeah. you. F that's your energy of floating and and happiness and laughter and dance. I felt so happy sometimes, yeah. That's who you truly are. And I are. used to be a dancer. I used to dance. Got to do more dancing again. In the living room. <laughs> well, it doesn't matter where. <laughs> no. You did great. Oh, my God. Wow, Annie. Mm. What a session. <laughs> <laughs> you did good. Yeah. You did wonderful. I can't How walk. do you feel? You can't I, walk. You, no, you have I new could, legs. I have new legs, so I couldn't walk. And uh, I feel, it's, yeah, it's like my body has changed. Hmm. It's like I have a new body. In Incredible. A way. Incredible. Yeah. So, how did you feel? Did you feel hypnotized? No, I, I, I feel hypnotized that I was um, relaxed, but I was awake. I can hear everything I say. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So, so you were here, but there. But... Yeah, but I'm definitely not asleep. Right. right yeah. Right. And I felt sometimes I can open my eyes if I want to. Yes, but well, you kind of did a few times. Yeah, but then when I open my eyes, I can't really see anything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, so um, what was the reason that you came to the session? What did you want to get out of it? 
uh, I have trouble with energy, so the first thing was that I wanted to get more energy. And how do you feel now? Are you buzzing? Yes, I'm buzzing. <laughs> I'm a bit high. <laughs> I don't know what, uh, oh my God. what you've done to me, but oh um, my gosh. and the other thing was that I, I wanted to participate in the awakening in the world. Yeah. yeah. You feel you can do it now? I, I have to digest a bit first, mm -hmm. maybe. Mm -hmm. Now, yeah. tell everybody where you came from. I came from Norway. Wow. And we're in Amsterdam, the Netherlands yeah. right now. Yeah. So we kind of met in the middle here. Yeah. And uh, so was, was it worth it coming here? It's definitely worth it. Yeah. I would like to come tomorrow again. If I could. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have a few sessions tomorrow. Yeah, I know you do. <laughs> but is yeah. this something that you would recommend for other people? Yes, I would definitely recommend it. Mm -hmm. It's a great journey to be, uh, to meet yourself. Mm -hmm. you know? Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Um, Likewise. And I like that, what they said about you. The connection. The connection. Yeah. Seems I've been places too. I think you've been somewhere before. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I have a job to do here and yeah. 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 It's, 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 it was really nice. It was amazing how um, this journey was just so beautiful. You went everywhere. Yeah, I did. You went everywhere. You, you went to like God's house at first. Yes, but it was not a big house, you know, because you imagine God's house is a big, big place, but it's not, but it's beautiful. Yes. But not that big. And you saw yourself as this little girl. Yeah, laughing, having fun. Dancing. <laughs> Dancing. With your angel. But this angel was more etheric, mm -hmm. but the girl was uh, more like Amazing. us. Amazing. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. Mm -hmm. So, um... I know it took you a while to, to get this session. How long have you been waiting to, to book? I think maybe one and a half year. Mm. Yeah. And you finally made it. Yeah. It was like, it just popped up of the email and it was like, okay, and I go for it. And I just got the lesson, you know, I mean, not the lesson, the session. The session. And yeah. this is what it's all about. It's when it's your time to come to a session, you will come to a session. Mm. And uh, the way that you do that is you have to sign up for my newsletter. And I send this uh, email out um, about once a month, and I'll tell you in the email where I'm going to be. There's going to be links there, and you just click on the link to the city where you would like to go to, and that will bring up a calendar. Now, I have very, very limited sessions, okay, because... Yeah, so they're really they valuable. Go really, <laughs> they go really fast. So if you mm. click on that... Um, 10 minutes later or five minutes later. A few seconds later. A few seconds later. They're, <laughs> yeah. they're going to be gone. So you need to yeah. click on immediately and that will be yours. So uh, I hope you enjoyed the session. I certainly did. And uh, I hope I get to meet you sometime soon. Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Give <laughs> a hug. Mm -hmm. Oh, you have a nice hug.